all right so here we are back out in the garage let me just uh, flip the camera around this is uh, the USDX turn that volume down a bit bring you back okay so the last video I made was briefly um, telling you how disappointed I was in the true SDX uh, Chinese clone what um, I've now discovered is pretty much widely known as the white button model I bought it from Banggood and um, it wasn't particularly brilliant um, I was quite impressed to begin with but then unfortunately um, I heard the transmitted um, uh, audio and it was awful not just the audio it was all really wide and horrible and then the display stopped working which was um, my, what my last video was about so I got in touch with Banggood and um, asked them um, either they can give me a refund and I'll send them the radio back or I was happy with a printed circuit board and I'd change the, um, the motherboard over myself or if they wanted they could send me a new unit I wasn't really bothered I just wanted something done and probably about 10 exchanges between uh, myself and Banggood and um, it, I was getting nowhere fast so I had to start getting a bit stronger with them and um, eventually they offered me uh, 51 quid back which is about half of what I paid for the transceiver and I accepted because I went on to the Facebook um, forum and uh, for these, I can't remember which one it is now, there's a couple of them on there um, and I downloaded um, a guy's software it's been a bit um, contentious because uh, the guy Rob who's produced version 4 I think it's version 4C now 4.00C I, I noticed he's up to um, but he's released this version, it's upset the, um, the guy uh, uh, Manuel DL2MAN who was one of the um, producers, one of the uh, guys who produced the original uh, USDX it seems or maybe not, I'm more I'm getting into this and more I'm realising there's more to the story than than appears anyway, let's cut us long story short um, in a minute you should see some um, uh, pictures of the poor soldering on the back of the, uh, the board um, which I took and sent to Banggood um, so I cleaned the board up, downloaded this software, which was quite an adventure because I had to also learn how to use an Arduino at the same time, um, install the Arduino software, download some um, bootloader stuff um, to the Arduino, use the Arduino as an interface to program the SDX, and it was over the Easter holidays and I was spending a few hours at it here and there, and eventually... Um, got it to accept the, um, the software there's a few little um, problems to begin with um, some of the buttons wasn't functioning how I thought they should um, but by then I'd learned a little bit about C or C++ I think it is and understood the define commands in the, um, in the code and managed to work it out and now I've got a bloody lovely radio in the meantime the true SDX came from the approved supplier, um, the one that um, DL2MAN um, endorses on um, AliExpress. I think his name's Sonny, um, but he doesn't trade as that. I can't remember the name, sorry. Go on to um, DL2MAN's website um, for details for that. In the meantime, that arrived. That's quite impressive, quite good, but of course it doesn't do all weight bands. Um, anyway, the USDX Chinese clone, I've downloaded version 4, I've cleaned up the PCB, reflowed some joints, um, and it's working really well. I've worked just worked a station in South Austria in Linz, um, OE6MBG, I've worked uh, Slovenia, and uh, loads of Italian stations, loads of Spanish stations, Spanish stations, all on a half-wave uh, NFENT um, dipole. So, um, sorry, no, that's not true, is it? An end fed half wave um, wire going into a 49 to 1 transformer, and which is apparently known as an unarm 
Amateur radio has changed a lot since uh, my day. Um, who'd have thought there was such a thing as Kiwi SDR? An amazing concept. So let's just bring you back to the radios. Okay, so at the moment, <laughs> we're on my car working bench, which I do everything on, and it needs a really good tidy up. So please excuse the, uh, the usual chaos. Um, I am gonna build a new station in the house again soon. I just wanted to get this tried out up and running and working so here we are this is the uh, S USDX which I bought from um, Banggood and so far so good it appears to be working really well now with this version uh, 4 software on let's have a look see if we can hear anything okay thought I heard something then but That's something I've noticed. I get a, a few crackles when I'm tuning. I'm not sure I had that before. I don't get it all the time. When you turn the encoder, you get that crackle. He's got to be close. <laughs> He's got to be close. It sounds like a, a Birmingham accent, doesn't it? Birmingham? Yeah, so I worked him earlier. So, so anyway, that's working. Works really well. The, it works equally as good as the um, True SDX. Um, there's a few little uh, changes to the software that the guy's done in terms of a user interface um, which are quite nice um, they're both really good radios in their own way I'm very impressed with uh, this one for the um, for what I'm getting for the money I'll probably sell that one I want to take one of these to Romania with me and set a QRP, a QRP station up out there so I'm thinking, I'm so pleased with this, I may well flog that and uh, buy another one of these. Um, we'll see. Um, I like the display on this. I'd like it to be even bigger, but um, I'm really pleased with it. And I'm so pleased that it's working. And what's more, it's only cost me 50 quid because Banggood have refunded my um, the half of what I paid. So... I've done okay really, I've got myself a half decent radio for 50 quid. So I guess the moral of this story is, be very careful buying stuff off of Banggood because if you have a problem, you ain't going to get your money back. I guess I was reasonably lucky that it happened in the first few days um, of buying the radio or receiving the radio um, and I managed to get half of my money back. I'm sort of suspecting if it had happened three or four months down the line, I'd have got jack shit back. Um, so I guess I did okay out of it. Um, so you need to be pretty careful who you buy these from. I'm sort of guessing if I buy another one of these, I'll probably buy it through eBay or Amazon because then I'm going to get a bit more protection than buying it um, through Ali or Banggood. So there you are. That's my take on it. I just thought I'd let you know the update on the... Um, USDX transceiver. Very pleased with it. I've had a lot of fun already. Getting back into amateur radio after 25 odd years has been really good. That crackle was definitely new. I'm sure I didn't have that before. But um band's gone pretty quiet now. Let's have a look, see if there's anything. Well, this is one of the new quirks on the uh, new software. So if I move the encoder upwards and then change bands it changes up if I move the encoder downwards and change bands it changes down <laughs> he says so that's quite a nice little feature um, just makes it a little bit easier uh, there's a couple of other little features he's put on there but you best download it yourself if you want to see what those, those features are okay well, cheers for now, and um, if you're going to buy one of these, I hope you have as much fun as I've had with it.
the encoder works as a uh, decoder works as well you have to be oh come on let's see if we can uh, pick up some uh, CW you have to be pretty bang on the uh, frequency and it's got to be pretty clear before the uh, decoder works otherwise you just get loads of T's and E's up as you can see now but it does work I've sat and watched a few uh, CW QSOs on it I had um, a friend of mine Adrian Y03 APJ he stuck out 800 watts into his tri-band antenna in Bucharest yesterday and I couldn't hear a thing um, on SSB so he banged me a bit of CW and, and um, I could uh, see, hear and see his, his CW coming over but, um, I seem to be hearing a lot sort of northwest and southeast I'm hearing lots of Scandinavian stations and working them with ease and I'm hearing lots of Spanish and Italians Okay, let's wrap this up now. Just want to give you an update on the Banggood episode. If you're going to buy stuff off of Banggood, please be very careful. And I would recommend if it's a major purchase, probably best uh, go to eBay or Amazon and pay a little bit more. But, um, I guess it's all just luck of a draw. I have bought other stuff from Banggood before and it's been brilliant. So, one of those things. Okay, cheers for now.